Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Tube. And it's not an entirely good day today because we woke up to the sad news that a triple C activist, uh, Bishop Tafumane Masaya, uh, who was abducted uh, last week, has now been found dead. You will know, some of you have already heard uh, the news of uh, the missing bishop. In fact, he was abducted with uh, another person uh, by suspected state security agents in Mavuku while they were campaigning for triple C candidate uh, in Mavuku Tafara, uh, Mr. Munyarazi Fipion Kufa Kutizi, ahead of the upcoming. December 9, 2023, by elections, you will know that there is a by election that is coming next month on the 9th of December after uh, a man who claims to be Triple C Secretary General on an interim basis, that is Mr. Sengezo Tabang, recalled members of the opposition party from parliament. So while these two were still busy campaigning, uh, they were abducted and we are told that the other person uh, who was abducted uh, with uh, Bishop Masaya has been found also uh, in a, a remote area where he is allegedly uh, injured after he was beaten up and assaulted by those people who abducted them. Uh, so the death of uh, Bishop Masaya was announced first by Triple C Deputy National Spokesperson uh, Gift Ostalo Ziva uh, on the micro blocking site X. Uh, although police have confirmed the death, they are yet to make uh, any further comment as to why this uh, why this death happened or as to whether as to what they believe rather caused the death, although we already know that uh, from the account that was given by Triple C, uh, Bishop Messiah was abducted while campaigning. I'm told he was doing door to door campaigns in that particular area, and they were abducted by people who are said to have been driving a car with uh, the with a picture of Zanu PF, uh, aspiring member of parliament for that particular area, uh, Misty. Um, Scott Sagupwanya, who is a ZANU PF aspiring member of parliament for Mavuku Tafara, having lost uh, in the August 23 and 24 election to Gufa Hawutizri, uh, who has now been recalled by Chabang, but is still running again uh, under the triple C ticket. So the police uh, spokesperson, that is Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyati, confirmed that a body had been found at the intersection of Actaras uh, and Lopo Roads in the Cleveland area in Harare, but he said that it hadn't yet been identified at the time of going to press. So he, his statement read, Zimbabwe Republic Police is conducting investigations in connection with the location of a body at the intersection of Acturas and Lopo Road, Cleveland area, Harare, on the 12th of November 2023. The identity of the victim is yet to be established. More details will be released in due course. So, however, a, a Triple C member, uh, a ward councillor, rather, uh, for ward 16, uh, Mr. Denford Ngatsi Warren, uh, wrote on X and identified the body uh, and said, Zanu PF killed our champion, was abducted in Mavuku. May his soul rest in peace. So this is a seriously, seriously worrying uh, incident because Zimbabwe at this particular time doesn't uh, need these kinds of things uh, at a time when we are being told about re-engagement efforts with the international community, when we are in the process of fighting against sanctions against Zimbabwe, which are blamed on the ruling party, ZANU-PF's uh, disrespect for human rights and people's rights as well as individual rights and then you wake up to certain to things like this where 
for merely campaigning for an opposition candidate, for merely choosing to belong to an opposition uh, party, you then have people losing their lives. Uh, it is something that is very, very uh, uncalled for. It's something that is very much worrying as to whether or not Zimbabwe will be able to shed off uh, this bloody uh, political contestations whereby every time they supposed to be uh, an election, then you get people being abducted by suspected state security agents and then they get killed and nothing happens it gets swept under the carpet we know about the death last year of a triple c activist uh, in glenview who was also killed in broad daylight by suspected zanu pf members uh, now we have uh, this we also have the hanging issue of more blessing uh ali who was killed and nothing has so far happened according to what we are told by the opposition party we also have uh, a triple c mp who was kidnapped uh, or in fact who survived a kidnapping attempt but the people who were carrying ak-47s were running after them one of them or, or rather two of them were uh, captured in a camera where the mp uh was running away and shooting at the same time shooting uh, this video but this same guy has not yet been arrested there is a man by the name danger who was arrested for public violence uh, against uh, suspected triple c uh, supporters he was arrested the policeman who arrested him was uh, victimized by a senior member uh, of the ruling zanu pf party who escaped with impunity nothing happened to them uh, and this senior member of the party is even a, a standing a, a sitting minister right now after she did all these things while she was still uh, a deputy minister so we are worried that nothing is going to happen to those who killed uh, the triple c activist tafun Mane masaya who has since been identified uh, whose body has been identified by uh, his wife maria Washuao, as indeed uh, being that of the slain bishop so it is so much worrying we hope that the law enforcement agents will put uh, an end to this culture of impunity, to this culture of violence, and that ZANU PF as a party that has been claiming that it fights against political violence, that it stands against violence, will at last stand up and say these people who are continuing to kill are not going to enjoy protection from either the state of or the ruling party because we know that those who are supposed to fight against this political violence those who are supposed to hold these people to account are also scared of touching any zanu pf uh, member who is accused of having done this dastardly acts because they themselves the police uh, become victims of this kind of uh, of behavior whenever they try to raise a hand so we hope that this time this culture of impunity will be put an end to uh, thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it